Hey art friends, today we're drawing a cartoon version of Ron from Harry Potter. And who else are we drawing? Scabbers. Scabbers, his pet? Yeah. Good job, dude. All right, dude, you got your marker? Yeah. All right, we hope you guys are gonna follow along with us. We're using a Sharpie, and that's because we don't want to erase. Can you use your muscles? Are you stuck? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> be careful, you don't want to get that on your clothes. <laughs> And then we're going to be using two sheets of paper so the marker doesn't go through to the table. You ready to start? Yeah. Let's do this. All right, Austin, we're going to use a lot of the same steps that we used for Harry Potter. Okay, so we're going to draw the bottom of his head, and it's going to be a U shape. And this is also for his chin. So it's the bottom of his head, but also his chin. There we go. So I'll give you two spots. Okay. Two dots, okay? So one dot there and one dot over here, and we're going to draw a U that connects the two dots. Okay. Okay. Good. And back up. Nice. Okay, now let's draw his eyes. And we're going to draw really big eyes because we're drawing a cartoon version yeah. of Ron. Yeah. There's one big circle, and then we're going to draw another big circle right next to that one. Can you do that? Two big circles? Good. Oh, that's awesome. Good. And then one over there. Ha <laughs> awesome. I love it. Okay, now the inside, we're gonna draw another circle that's really close to the other one we drew. Can you do that? Draw another circle really close to the other one. Yes. Good, and then another one right next to it. <laughs> I like how you're concentrating. Good job, and that's a good way to practice circles when we do eyes. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna draw one more circle inside, and this is gonna be for his pupil. So this is the part that we're gonna color in black in just a second. So we're gonna do another circle inside. We did three circles. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot, huh? And that way we can color his eyes blue. I think they're kind of a blue-gray. All right, okay, now inside this one, we're going to draw another one, a little circle up in the top left. All right, and if you want to simplify this at home, you can just draw one circle and then color it in like this. Okay, we're going to color this whole thing in except for the little circle. Good. Okay, now let's draw his nose. And then let's draw also his mouth. Two U shapes, kind of curves, small curves. There we go, we did it. Okay, now we need to do his hair. And Ron had crazy hair, didn't he? Yeah. It was red and crazy. <laughs> so we're gonna put a point right here in the middle. And let's put a point right there. And then we're gonna draw an A shape, um, but it's a curved A shape because he had it parted in the middle. There we go, curve out, good. Ah, oh, good job. Okay, now I'm gonna do a little, a little zigzag on both sides that goes up. So we're gonna draw a little line back, good. And then we're gonna draw a line that comes down on both sides. Ah, uh -huh. yes, and then one on the other side. Ooh, it went big. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> okay, now we're going to draw the outside of his hair. This is the inside that's on his forehead. Now we're going to draw the outside. So we're going to start down here, and we're going to draw two little curves that curve up. So we're going to do one from there to there, and then one on the other side. Can you do the other one without a point? Yeah. Okay. Good. All right, okay, now we're gonna draw a little zigzag down on both sides. Okay, now let's put another point up here. Good, and then we're gonna draw a line that comes all the way up and curves in to that point. Good, good job. Let's do another line that comes out, it curves up like this. So his head, the top of his head looks round. There we go. Okay, now let's do another one on this side. Comes all the way down and connects to that. Good. Give me five. 
we've finished his head, except let's give him some eyebrows. So let's do a little curve here and a little curve over on this side. Okay, now we need to do his clothes, right? Yeah. And his body. So let's give him a scarf like Harry and Hermione. So two lines that come down from his neck. Good. Oh, it's going to be a big scarf. I like it. And then we're going to connect them at the bottom. Those two lines at the bottom. All right, okay, now let's put three diagonal lines. One, two, three. And that's for the pattern on his scarf. Good. Okay, now we're going to do our scarf a little different than the other scarfs that we did. We're going to draw two lines that come down from the part that goes around his neck. And that's so that his scarf can hang in front of his body. Let's make those a little bit longer. There you go. Good job. And then let's connect it at the bottom. And then let's do two diagonal lines across. Yes, good job. You could put a couple more in there. <gasps> There you go. Perfect. Good job. Okay, now at the bottom, let's do four little lines coming down from the scarf. <laughs> Are you having fun? Yeah. You promise? Yeah. Yeah. Do you like Harry Potter movies? Yeah. <laughs> okay, now let's draw his cloak. So we're going to draw a big line that comes down on this side and one on this side. Okay, so we're going to start over here, go all the way down to there, start over here, go all the way down to there. Good. Oh, awesome. Good job. Okay, now let's draw, I'm going to make sure that these lines are the same down here. Now we're going to draw one line that comes down next to the scarf, and this one's going to go down a little longer, so we'll start there and go down to there. Good. Awesome. And then we're going to draw another line that's right next to him, but it's going to be behind the scarf. And yours, let's just draw it right here and to there because you drew, your body is a lot wider than mine. Yeah. Yeah. Good. All right. Okay. Now we're going to connect the bottom and this is for his cloak. We drew his cloak. Good. And then connect this one. I like how you connected the middle too. That's okay. I didn't connect mine yet, but I will. All right, okay, now let's do a collar. So on this side, let's do a little diagonal line. And then if you have room, I'm going to draw a diagonal line on this side. So let's draw it right to there. And then let's imagine it going through a scarf and coming out on the other side. Perfect. Good job. Now in the middle, if we have room, let's do a V. So you can do a V right here, down and then back up. Good. And then we're going to do two more V's right below that one because there was a little pattern on his sweater. So do another one right there, right below it. Good job. And then another one right below that one. Awesome. Now we had a tie. So I'm going to put a diagonal line there and you have more room. I wish I drew mine like yours. <laughs> Good. And then, yeah, you did it. And then do one line connecting it right across. Perfect. We did it. Okay. Now let's draw the bottom of his sweater. So I'm going to draw three lines. One, two, three. And then that's four. That's for a sweater. Good. And then, you know what? Let's draw two lines above that one. You know what? I changed my mind because you have an extra one in there. You have four lines and I have three. So I'm going to add an extra line, okay? Okay. Right there. So this is going to be his pants. This will be his pants. This will be his sweater. And then that's the orange stripe on his sweater. Okay. What's he missing? 
feet. Yeah, his legs and his feet. So let's draw two lines that come out of the bottom of each side. That. Good. <laughs> awesome. And do you want to make these? Why don't we make these lines as long as those over there? So let's make them about that long. Oh, good. You connected the bottom. Perfect. I'm going to connect the bottom just like you did. There's his pants. Now we're going to draw his shoes, the bottom of his pants. This little U shape. Good. And one on the other side. Awesome. Now what is he missing? His arms. Yeah, he's missing his arms. Okay, so on this side, let's draw a little diagonal line. It comes down. So we'll draw it right there and then connect it into his body. Good, and then we'll put a little U shape on the bottom for his hand. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Little line that comes down and then connect it in. <laughs> I like it. And then we're gonna draw another U shape. And there's his other hand. Okay, but you know what's going to be different? What? We're going to put a wand in this hand, and we're just going to do two little lines that stick out, and we want them to just be short. So right to there. Yes, you put another dot in there. I like it. Okay, and then we're going to connect it. Awesome. And then we're going to draw two... We're going to draw... Well, let's draw a line down, and then we'll make it a little U-shape going back up. Do you know why? Yeah. You make a really skinny U shape coming down and then back up and then we'll connect it there because his wand's broken. Yeah. Do you remember when he broke his wand? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Austin, we're missing one last thing. What is he missing? Scabbers. Yeah, his pet scabbers. So let's draw, we're gonna draw uh, him over here and we're gonna just draw a little U shape like that. You can draw over here, you want to draw right there, a point to there, and a point to there. You can draw a little U shape. Oh, it's going to be a skinny scabbers. I like it. And then, let's connect the bottom. Oh, and then we're going to do an upside down U shape for one ear. Good. And then another upside down U over here. Let's turn this into a U, an upside down U. So connect from there to there. So it looks like an ear. And then let's do another U shape right there above. Good. And there's his other ear. And then let's do a circle for his eye and color it in. Perfect. Okay, our mouse is missing some feet. Yeah. Let's do two U shapes for the front feet and two U shapes or a W for the back feet. <laughs> Good. <laughs> you did it. Good job. Okay, now Scabbers is missing. He's missing something. His tail, huh? His tail. Okay, so let's draw. Sideways or backwards C. Good. And we could leave it like that or we can add some thickness. There we go. Give me five. You did awesome. Except we need to color them, don't we? Yeah. Okay, let's pick out our colors and we'll come back. Okay. All right, awesome. We got our colors picked out and we're going to use black, red, orange, peach, pink, Light blue and a gray. Yeah. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Okay, let's do it right now. You drew that all by yourself? Yeah. 
How old are you? Four. Four years old. <laughs> Remember, the cartoon versions are meant to be simple and easy for younger artists, but still fun for older artists too. I had a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Oh, are you scabbers? Don't bite me. No, don't bite me. I'm gonna bite you. Ah.